Well, really, um, Mitchell Kabner wrote the screenplay, and it was based not on any one of Baum's books, but on a number of his books. Baum wrote in books two, three, four, and five little bits and pieces of how the wizard got to the land of Oz and who he was before back in Kansas and what happened to him. So I think what Mitchell Kapner did, our screenplay writer, is he took those different elements and he put them in chronological order. And then he wrote a screenplay based on that. So it's really a screenplay in, inspired by the land of Oz, by the works of Frank Baum. But it's, um, it's an original work. So when you say it's um, the land we know, it is. It's all of Baum's creations, his characters, his world. But it's an original story. Uh, that I don't think the audience is aware of yet as to who the wizard was and how he came to be the wizard. That's right. There are some characters that uh, Baum wrote about, like the China Girl or Chinatown, that hadn't been seen in the original Wizard of Oz movie that is going to be seen here in tonight's Oz the Great and Powerful. Also, although we'd seen the flying monkey, um, flying monkeys from the Wicked Witch of the West in the original Wizard of Oz, what we haven't seen is the fact that they can talk and uh, they're actually very intelligent and gentle creatures. And that is displayed in this picture.